you know, turn on a power is one, make sure you have power. It can be tricky. At, a lot of times it is tricky. It's like you think you got it, but you don't. So make sure you verify that you have power. Here we seem to be all good. Um, looks like all our orientations plus minus and everything was good. So we can actually go and start testing stuff. So <laughs> this is where we go at it. And the first thing we want to do then is uh, go into the settings, <laughs> go, go to prepare. I would go right here, and this is like the first, first run test, but in prepare, we're recording, mm -hmm. auto home. So what we want to do is auto home and notice, so what the procedure should be that the x-axis is going to start moving, it should start moving towards the end stop, then the y-axis should start moving, and then the z-axis should start moving. That's the expected behavior. Um, so if we hit that, we would start, but if we go get motion in the wrong direction, then we just kill it. How do we kill it? There's a reset button right there on the Arduino, mm -hmm. uh, right there by the yellow. It's a little push button. So if we see it going in a wrong direction, just kill it immediately. So we can do that right now because we know how to kill it. So prepare, auto home, hit. And something is definitely not going. Oh, that was. So we did not get the expected behavior. Expected behavior is X motion to zero, Y motion to zero, and Z motion. So something's clicking around. Uh, end stop issue, I would say. First thing would be like, look at end stops. Are the end stops working? Um, we did get the, the Y moving. We did not get the X to move. Now, there could be different issues, like it could be that we're actually so tight that it's not moving, but uh, I don't know, I mean, it should move, I, I can move it. We should probably have enough strength there. Um, first thing to look at would be, okay, end stop, is that working properly? Because if they're not connected in properly, this thing is not really going to work. So, um, so that's the, we do have them, first of all, plugged in the right direction, right? right location and let's check the other one if it's plugged in a it is I mean for first fourth and fifth spots the green should be on top that's correct <clears throat> it could be that the end stops may be shorted or something like they're not wired on properly uh, so we can a good thing is for example to test it like what should it be they're normally open or closed I think they're normally what would they open. be normally no, normally closed did you trip that right now? See, we're not it's getting it. It's not open. So it's not opening. Okay, now let's try the other one. So tell us what you did, Tom. What to tell the logic? Because this is like the troubleshooting that you have to understand. Okay, I took an ohm meter and I put it on uh, 2K range. Some some of you will have automatic ohm meters, and then we just took that. And normally it, it shows infinite resistance here which is just empty right now. And so I took it and the wires are exposed right here to, and uh, where it makes a connection. So we can take our pointed probes and connect to these two little things here. So when we do, we see now the resistance on the meter goes down to zero. And when marching trips the switch there, it doesn't change. So that means that the switch isn't doing anything. That means the switch is shorted. So we need a new switch. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's pull one right off my next machine. So so we'll call this right bad on it. So short. And let's pull one off here. Okay, so we've got that. Um, yeah, I'm wired. 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 I